Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular CD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this side length uh, AC is uh, 16 units whereas uh, this side length uh, BC is uh, 36 and moreover uh, this segment uh, AD is represented by M and this segment uh, BD is being represented by lowercase uh, n and furthermore uh, this angle uh, DBC is uh, X whereas this angle uh, DAC is uh, 3 times X and now our task is to find the ratio of uh, M and N please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, perpendicular CD. I'm going to label as uh, height uh, lowercase uh, h. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC. And now let's recall the so Cartois and we are interested in uh, sine of uh, 3x and cosine of uh, 3x uh, as well. Now we are going to find uh, sine of uh, 3 times x uh, is going to be equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. In our case our opposite is h, uh, hypotenuse is 16. So this will become h uh, divided by 16. And now we are going to find uh, cosine of 3x. Uh, so let me go ahead and write down uh, cosine of uh, 3x uh, is going to be equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. In our case our adjacent is m and our hypotenuse is 16. So that is going to give us uh, m divided by 16. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, BDC. And we are going to use the Sokatoa once again and we are interested this time uh, sine of x uh, and uh, cosine of x. So therefore uh, sine of x uh, this time uh, is going to be equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. In our case uh, our opposite is h, uh, hypotenuse is uh, 36. So I could write uh, h divided by 36. And now we are going to find uh, cosine of x and cosine of x is adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. In our case our adjacent is lowercase n and hypotenuse is 36. So I can write uh, n divided by 36. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate the ratio of sine of 3x and uh, sine of uh, x. So therefore I'm going to write down uh, sine of uh, 3x uh, divided by sine of uh, x equals to we know our sine of 3x value is h divided by 16 divided by our sine of x value is h divided by 36. So therefore this could be simplified as h divided by 16 times we are going to flip this one over as 36 uh, divided by h and here we can see h and h is uh, gone and if we reduce 36 uh, and 16 that is going to give us uh, 9 uh, divided by 4. So therefore uh, sine of uh, 3x uh, divided by sine of x uh, turns out to be 9 divided by 4. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric ID sine of 3 theta equals to 3 times sine theta minus uh, 4 times sine cube uh, theta. And we are going to apply this uh, identity on the numerator over here. So therefore uh, this is going to become uh, 3 sine of uh, x uh, minus uh, 4 times uh, sine power 3 x all over sine of x equals to 9 divided by 4. And now we can write uh, this left hand side as uh, 3 sine of x 
divided by sine of x and then minus 4 times sine cube of x divided by sine of x as well equals to 9 divided by 4. And here we can see sine of x and sine of x is gone. So therefore we are ended up with this uh, 3. And here uh, sine power 3 divided by sine of x is going to give us uh, sine square of x. And now we are going to move this uh, 3 on the right hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step I have moved this uh, 3 on the other side. And now let's focus on this uh, right hand side. And here I have copied it down. And if I simplify this one, uh, it's going to give us negative 3 divided by 4. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this uh, right hand side by negative 3 divided by 4. So therefore, this is going to give us uh, negative 4 sine square of x uh, equal to negative 3 divided by 4. And now I'm going to multiply by negative 1 divided by 4 on this side and negative 1 divided by 4 on this side as well. And here we can see on this side this negative 1 fourth and this negative 4 is gone. So therefore sine square of x value turns out to be if we multiply both of these one that is going to give us 3 divided by 16. So therefore our sine square of x value turns out to be 3 divided by 16 and that is going to be very helpful for us uh, in the next few steps. And here's our next step. Now we are going to find the ratio of cosine of 3 of x uh, and cosine of uh, x. So therefore I'm going to write down cosine of uh, 3 of x uh, divided by cosine of x and we know our cosine 3x uh, is uh, m divided by 16 divided by cosine of x is n divided by 36. And now let's take care of the right hand side. This could be written as m divided by 16 times when we flip this one over that is going to become 36 divided by n. And now we can see these two reduce this is going to be 9 and 4. So therefore this is going to become 9 times m divided by 4 times n. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, right hand side by 9m divided by 4 n over here. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall another uh, famous uh, trigonometric identity cosine of uh, 3 theta is equal to 4 times uh, cosine cube theta minus 3 times uh, cosine of theta and we are going to apply this uh, identity on the left hand side uh, numerator. So therefore the left hand side is going to become 4 times uh, cosine power 3x uh, minus uh, 3 times uh, cosine of x all over cosine of x is going to be equal to 9m divided by 4 times n. And now in this uh, next step I have uh, split uh, this left hand side into two partial fractions. And now in the next step uh, on the left hand side cosine power 3 divided by cosine is going to give us a cosine square of x and here cosine of x and cosine of x is gone. So therefore we are just ended up with the 3 on the left hand side. And now let's recall another famous uh, trigonometric identity sine square of theta plus cosine square of theta is always equal to 1. Let me move uh, this sine square theta on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with the cosine square theta equal to 1 minus uh, sine square of uh, theta. And now I am going to substitute for cosine square of x uh, this 1 minus sine square theta over uh, here. So therefore this could be written as 4 is outside this is going to become 1 minus uh, sine square of x. Uh, and then minus uh, 3 equal to 9m divided by 4 times n. 
and now our uh, sine uh, square of x value is uh, 3 divided by 16 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, sine square of x uh, by 3 divided by 16 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, sine square of x uh, by 3 over 16 over here and now let's focus uh, inside this uh, parenthesis 1 minus 3 divided by 16 is same as 13 uh, divided by 16 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this one by 13 divided by 16 and now if we simplify this part that is going to give us uh, 13 uh, divided by 4 as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify this one on the left hand side that is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 4 therefore we can write uh, 9m divided by 4 times uh, n equals to 1 divided by 4 and since uh, we are interested in a ratio of uh, m and n so therefore we are going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal 4 divided by 9 over here and 4 divided by 9 over here as well to isolate m divided by n so therefore we can see 9 and 9 is gone 4 and 4 is gone so therefore on the left hand side we got uh, m divided by n turns out to be equal to n here 4 and 4 is gone so on the right hand side we are ended up with uh, 1 divided by 9 so therefore m divided by n turns out to be 1 divided by 9 so thus our ratio of m and n turns out to be equal to 1 divided by 9 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye